I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC, and I'm at our 2019 Break Vulcan Project Cargo Conference in New Orleans. I'm speaking with Jeff Kiever, Commercial Director at Host. Great to have you here, Jeff. It's great to be here. Thank you so much. Now, Host is closing in on a 100-year anniversary. What changes in the business have had the biggest impact on your operations and the company's philosophy? Well, I certainly don't go that far back. I have been around a while, but um, we're pretty excited um, as we look back at the history of the organization from a family-run business that started in Newport News, Virginia in 1923, and uh, their fourth generation uh, is still currently involved with the, with the company. And over that uh, extended period of time, you've certainly seen tremendous growth in international trade. Um, with that certainly came the larger vessels that are calling it ports, deeper water, um, greater uh, improvements in uh, technology that have really changed the industry so much that where before it was really a labor intensive industry and it's become so much more of a capital intensive industry with the investment on the infrastructure to support those larger ships and the new methods of uh, automation that have come into play, certainly uh, on the container side. But Host is traditionally focused on um, break bulk and bulk commodities. And while their ships have certainly gotten bigger, there's significant automation there. I, I mean, while I don't remember it, I've heard stories of um, uh, labor in the holds of uh, ships many years ago in Virginia uh, for, they were coal trimmers. They literally would trim the coal in the ship. Um, and so that has all been uh, mechanic, uh, automated and, and much more efficient. So I would say those are some of the key components. What are your thoughts on adding efficiency to the supply chain? What are the areas that hold the most potential? Sort of bang for your buck. Well, the supply chain is uh, has a key focus for so many people around the globe today. And you can take a look at the container industry as it has transformed to much more um, automation. You can basically do anything with the phone that's in the palm of your hand. And um, the break bulk, and the bulk commodities maybe are not so uh, automated. Many of those operations involve um, multiple facets of transportation that touches the cargo in some form or fashion. And if um, and, and certainly Host um, is taking a look at providing the full solutions to our customers in hopes that we can shrink the supply chain and improve the efficiency. Um, by doing value-added services, at, uh, at our facilities, um, eliminating that extra step that often happens at a port where it has to be trucked or moved multiple times. Anytime, as you know, that the cargo is touched, it's an additional expense associated with that. So reducing that and trying to bring that segment of the industry into a more efficient um, operation leads to significant savings and therefore a, a, a smaller supply chain. In October, the company acquired Avondale Shipping in Louisiana. Can you tell me a little bit about the strategy behind that? Well, if you've ever seen it, um, there are very few existing waterfront facilities that have 8,000 feet of deep riverfront property, 250 acres of an industrial complex that built uh, ships and repaired ships with all the utilities um, that are necessary for such an operation and then access to six class one railroads in this region. It, it's unheard of to have that kind of availability come on the market. And so based on our effort to try to improve the overall supply chain and efficiency of the industry, we feel like it made a lot of sense to acquire this property, to ensure that the, uh, the docks are rehabbed to provide for the, uh, the cargo operations that, that, that we want to attract there. Uh, along with uh, connecting to those class one railroads and capitalizing on the 250 acres for attracting businesses that will provide those value added services such as manufacturing or uh, improvements uh, to, to other aspects of it. We're not so interested in just picking up a piece of freight, setting it down and letting it go out. And so the unique capability of Avondale is uh, what attracted us. What do you have planned for the year ahead? We're continuing to uh, work to attract uh, customers and tenants to the site, as well as rehab in the docks, sort of one at a time, as well as um, getting that connection to the rail system.
Great. It's lovely speaking with you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. I've been speaking with Jeff Kiever, commercial director for Host.